Welcome to the desktop uh, presentation of the orientation and introduction to the course uh, CIT 161 Networks 2. Let's get started. I'm going to try to keep this video under 25 minutes. So for the um, first thing that you would see, well, first let me go into student mode. So it looks like how you will see it. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is, um, and the first place you'll be directed to is the broad or announcements, or in this case, I have all Fs. Hopefully, some of you remember that uh, all Fs, uh, particularly in a MAC address, as that's formatted, would um, be a broadcast. So that's the joke, as sad as it may stand. All right, so there you go. Um, so this is your announcements. Again, it'll get, be sent to your email as well as here. This is the entry point to the um, Blackboard course. So welcome. Uh, this is the welcome page. Uh, we'll be going through this. This is kind of a roadmap. Um, this and the syllabus will be the roadmap as far as the rest of this presentation. <clears throat> this is the desktop presentation. So again, uh, everything that you need to do is arrowed. That's what these arrows are. First of all, I've tried numerous iterations, numerous things uh, to be called, um, but uh, what seems to work best, um, and I may be just a stickler for uh, formalities, is Professor Alves. So I'll, I'll accept Professor Alves, please. And if you uh, call me something else, then uh, then I'll just gently remind you to be uh, to say Professor Alves. So. Sorry for any perceived uh, persnickiness on my end, but uh, that's the way it is. All right. So below, this is the uh, this is the desktop presentation. All right. Um, so there's also some videos from MindTap. Uh, so for folks who had me in the past, uh, just know that MindTap is going to be our labs. Our our labs are going to be run through MindTap. So let me show you what it looks like. Uh, the new format, we have lessons. Here's the six lessons we'll have. The uh, first two lessons for, uh, are going to be the, well, it's divided into threes as well. First two lessons, second uh, uh, lesson, the second group of lessons, which is three and four, and the last group, which is five and six. All right, so we'll go to lesson one. <clears throat> you can either prepare for the lesson, which are things you need to read, things you can study. Uh, executes what we're interested in. This is where the labs are. So like we have a TCP IP and we have some labs, right? Uh, here's a lab and here's what's called a live lab, which is for the folks who have me for CIT 250. Oddly enough, this is within the, um, the topic, which is not how it is in security. Uh, anyway, so these are the, it's broken down into the topics. All right. Uh, we also have an assess folder, assess folders where our assessments are going to be. Every lesson has an assessment, which are uh, important questions to review to make sure you have proper understanding. Uh, again, if you click on prepare, um, as you can see right here, what you need to read, uh, questions to think about while you're reading, um, uh, the actual link to the book. Uh, again, the mind tap is how... Um, is going to be, well, I, I, sorry, that's right. I can't access this. Um, it's going to tell me I have concurrent, uh, um, overlapping enrollments, uh, because this is my login, the student preview mode. It, um, actually logs me in as a different user. So if I do that with my, um, regular user as such, it'll actually bring up the lab. So this is the actual lab right here. Access it through access the labs through Blackboard. That way, the score will be automatically propagated back to Blackboard. Um, uh, uh, and uh, again, don't worry about the grading system within the book so much. It's all going to Blackboard is your main point of entry. Okay, go through Blackboard, execute the class through Blackboard. All right, did I do the live lab. No, this is the lab simulation. That's taking so long. Anyway. Uh, In this lab, you use command prompt commands to perform essential Lovely. Okay, so there you go. Um, all right, let's get back to the welcome. Uh, so Blackboard will be your primary interface for the of this course, not MindTap. Do not expect the grades in MindTap to be meaningful in any way, shape, or form. It should automatically go back and the grade your grades here. And I'm go back to student mode so I can hide all the administrative stuff. Uh, your grades under tools, my grades are going to be your grades, um, which there shouldn't be any here. Uh, we'll talk about grading in a bit. 
All right, that's gonna be your grades. All right, uh, so next thing we wanna do is review the syllabus. So if you could do me a favor and click on the syllabus. Uh, but before, uh, actually, a couple things real quick here. Uh, I have my contact information. You can use this throughout the semester. Best way to get a hold of me is through my email. I'm pretty good about responding to my email. Um, uh, have pretty good contact uh, turnaround time on my emails. My phone. The only way I'm going to answer my phone is if I'm sitting in my office during my office hours, which I do have, uh, and I'm not helping another student. Then I will answer my phone. So therefore, the best way to get a hold of me is um, uh, is going to be my uh, uh, email. All right. I do have office hours. I do um, do my best to make sure I'm in uh, all my office hours. Um, if not, I'll send out an announcement. Um, so uh, as you can see, Mondays, Wednesdays, I'm in there in the afternoon for quite a few couple hours. And then uh, for Tuesday, Thursday, I'm there in the morning. So I try to mix it up in the morning. They're listed right here. And my entire schedule, inc including when my other classes are, are listed right here. Okay. This is what the link you clicked on to get here. These are the MindTap videos I was talking about. So again, MindTap Reader, uh, how virtual machine labs work, um, that type of thing. This is going to actually be a bit of misinformation, but it has some decent information in it. Um, it's a, it was it was a debate whether or not I should include it in. Um, and again, misinformation because of the whole grading thing. They're going to tell you how to check your grades in MindTap, which you really shouldn't do. All right, and finally, uh, after this is all said and done, and after you go through the um, um, presentation, either be in class or watching this of the syllabus and um, the orientation to the uh, Blackboard course, you can click on a test. Yay, a test. Uh, this test will count as an, as an assessment, essentially. All right, uh, for grading purposes. All right, so let's get started. Here's the syllabus. Again, it starts off with my contact information. Um, okay, so what are you gonna need to do this course? I put CIT laptop required. Um, I try to make it vendor neutral. Uh, if you're running Linux, if you're running Mac, there's gonna be a couple extra hurdles for you to jump. First of all, and I'm not a Mac expert. Uh, I, I don't use Mac all that much. I'm a Linux Windows person. So um, I'll do my best to help you. Uh, and so I put CIT laptop. We're, we are going to run visor software. We are going to have virtual machines. Uh, we're going to do that under projects, though. We're not going to be doing that during the labs. So the labs are going to be book labs. The projects are still going to be my crazy uh, mad scientist lab, um, mad scientist projects. Okay. Uh, so we'll set up little uh, networks within our machine and have, in the case of networks uh, two, um, we can we'll be setting up DHCP servers and, and and DNS servers and translating for another client. So we'll have two machines running at the same time. Uh, access to uh, Blackboard uh, stick.blackboard.com. You need to get to Blackboard. Uh, the internet in general, uh, because Blackboard's on the internet. Uh, this is the book right here that you're going to need to purchase. I'm sorry. Uh, this ISBN is for a subscription service, which I th gives you multiple books. Um, it's an online subscription model. This is only for online. You do not need the physical book at all. You just need the uh, online access. Uh, this is the ISBN for one semester. Why only one semester? Because, to be honest, I don't plan on using their labs next semester uh, networks three for, for for networks three internet security two and for advanced um security topics i don't foresee using their books at all i i can't 100 percent commit uh i haven't prepped those classes as well um but i think it would probably make the most sense if you now if you're going to be using uh mind tap and other courses it might make sense okay uh, here's the course key to get into the course uh, in MindTap. Um, so there you go. Um, so this course is best way to, I think, describe it would be um, network infrastructure or IT infrastructure. We're going to talk about things about land WAN management, DHP, DNS, FTP, setting up servers, the underlying um, servers and services that, that allow our computers to operate on the network. All right. Uh, I, again, I'm going to try to make this as mix of lecture and lab as we possibly can do. 
Um, so I do want to get a bunch of hands on. That's where the labs come in. That's where the projects come in. Okay. The projects you're going to have to submit uh, documentation after the project. Um, it, it'll, it'll, it'll be in the instructions. When you submit any kind of documentation, please have the first three lines right justified uh, and have your first your your name, first name, middle initial if you have one, last name, first initial, last name, whatever works best for you. Um, I say first initial, middle initial, but again, you can have your whole name there too. Um, uh, but have your name uh, as the first item. The second item is the class CIT 161, uh, well, D02 or D02, sorry, D01, you can know. <laughs> I, should, I should say D01 or D02, I'll fix that, sorry. Uh, include the assignment, lab one, class project. Uh, you're only gonna have to do these for the projects, so project one, project two, project three. There's gonna be three projects in this class. All documents need to be formatted as PDF. The all documents need to be in format as PDF. All documents uh, need to be formatted as PDF. No, YouTube is not skipping. Uh, please, if you submit a document, make sure it's a PDF. That being said, I've said it four times, and I guarantee you someone will still pass in something that's not PDF. All right. Uh, SLO, student learning outcomes. These are the thing. These are our goals. These are the things we're going to try to t uh, teach you this semester. Uh, expect I'm not going to read them through all of them. You can read through them yourself. Expectations. Uh, this is important. Uh, students will uh, be expected to maintain a high level of academic integrity. What does that mean? Answers will come from your brain. They'll come from your notes. Uh, the exams in this course are going to be take home. They're going to be take home exams. All three of them. Uh, this course, actually, I am going to do a, um, after lesson one, a uh, VLSM review test, I think, as well. So keep that in mind as well. That will be in class, so I can make sure you can do VLSM. Um, but all the rest will be take-home exams, okay? Um, so, but the, the answer has to come from you. No one should tell you the answer. So if someone tells you A, that is wrong. The, the answer is A, click A. That's wrong, okay? Uh, click on the uh, click on A, the answer is DHEPA, right? Wrong. Don't have anyone tell you the answer. Now, I do, uh, I, I am quite happy with students um, working together. Um, I think it helps both the helper and the helpee. Um, it helps the helpee uh, get it from a different perspective, which might be, you know, uh, more in line uh, with their perspective than my perspective. All that's a beautiful thing, and I'm all for it, right? And I reward students that work with other students, that help other students. Um, but that being said, the way to help a student is to help them click on the right thing, to click on, okay, you need to start that service, or, oh, you know, you know where your problem is? Your config file is corrupt, okay? That makes sense, okay? But not say, ah, uh, just the, the answer is A, move on, move on to the next one. Okay, that's not it. Don't give out answers. Help people understand. Okay, uh, maintenance and viability of a, a, a student's laptop is the student's responsibility. Uh, loss of data corruption um, uh, of the student's uh, virtual machines is not the responsibility of the professor. I'm happy to help people. I'm happy to work with people. I'm decent at troubleshooting. Um, I'm and I'm happy to try to troubleshoot. But that being said, at the end of the day, if your computer's not working, not being able to run the visor software or do something everyone else's computer can do, uh, and it's affecting your grade, that is your responsibility. It's not my responsibility. You don't get an automatic A for having a crappy laptop. Uh, the professor will notify students of any required deadlines or attendance ahead of time. Uh, so the big thing right up here is this: important dates. All right, I, there are two important dates. Uh, there are going to be two due dates, okay? All labs and assessments for lessons one, two, the welcoming test, and also exam one is going to be due 1022, all right? Why 1022? Because midnight, uh, our midterm grades are due on the 24th. That gives me two days to get those done, all right? To get, come up with a, a calculation for your midterm grades. Uh, so everything from lessons one and two and exam one is going to be due by 1022, all right? All other labs, assessments, the project, and the exams are going to be due 2019, uh, uh, December twenty, uh, December the 20th. Why? Because things will be due, essentially, up to, uh, I'm, I need to get your grades in before uh, the holiday break, okay? So, um, so that's why that's due then, all right? The due dates are non-negotiable. Get stuff in. Get it in. Don't wait, don't wait to the last moment and tell me, oh, well... 
uh, you know, uh, it turns out I have a family emergency, and I, I so I can't do any of the labs. Well, you could have been doing the labs the first three, uh, if, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks. The first seven weeks of the well, said week seven up here. The uh, the first seven weeks of the course. Okay, you could have you could have done them then too. All right. So the due dates are the due dates. Please get them done by the due dates. All right. Um. Uh, where else were we going to be? The students will not behave in a disruptive manner. I like a good back and forth. I like joking. Um, we'll talk about um, bad things and things that are uh, are um, not conducive to a, a learning environment. Uh, but I'm talking about disruptive, where we you won't let me, we won't get we can't get back on the subject. We can't. We we have things we need to cover. Okay, there's a lot of things we need to cover. Um, so if you want to make a quick joke about you know the Celtics losing. All right, I'm a Celtics fan. Okay, cool. Make a joke about the Celtics losing. All right, haha, we had a good laugh. Let's move on. Okay, that type of thing. But if you won't let it go and you keep bringing it up, it's not just the Celtics losing. Or if you want to keep talking about how great the Celtics are, it doesn't. We need to get back on subject. If I say, okay, let's, we're done talking about that. We're done talking about that. All right. Uh, the professor will evaluate each student individually and maintain a transparent system of grading. All grading will take place in Blackboard. Again, your that that grade uh, that grade book is important. Uh, the very top grade uh, in the grade book is called running final score. It's called that because it is a running score. Um, what happens is as you do things, it will um, come into here. We'll talk about the grading system in a bit. Uh, it's slightly crazy, not too bad. Okay, But as you do th uh, your various labs and things down here, yeah, there's a lot of labs. They're, they're a little bit smaller than my labs. Um, your grade will start propagating. Okay. Now, things do not turn into a zero until they're past due. So, like, everything here for um, Lab 1-1 one, one, all the way to, oh, man, they kept the names uh, even though I changed it in the grade book. That's annoying. Uh, so, th these are all from Lesson 1, all right? And you can see all the way to Lesson 2 assessment. All these are from Lesson 2. Those will turn to zeros at, on midnight 1023 or 10 you know on 1023 they'll turn to they'll turn, turn to zero as i do my grading and then those zeros will start getting counted to your running final score okay when it's blank like this it doesn't count towards your your final score but the moment it's past due and i put a zero on there that's when it's going to actually um count towards your score all right um we'll talk about grading in a little bit too some more um, all right, uh, professor will work with a student through the disabilities office to provide an accessible working classroom. So uh, remember, uh, if you have a learning uh, disability, it's going to affect you. Uh, our exams, because they are take-home exams, are going to be timed. They're going to be uh, auto-submit. Um, so if you have a learning disability, work with our disabilities office. They'll work with you. Uh, they'll do an assessment and then they'll come back to me. We'll come up with a game or they, they send me a game plan and I have never un, I have never not accepted. That's a double negative. I have never refused. I guess that's good. A plan come up from our disabilities office who I have immense respect for. So um, so they'll send me a plan and then I sign off on it and we implement that plan. Okay. All participants will maintain a professional and respectful environment. Uh, bigotry, discrimination, violence, intimidation of any kind will not and cannot be tolerated. I think um, it's, you know, I, five years ago I might have made a joke that, uh, yes, we still have to say that. Uh, and I think um, nowadays it's even more prevalent. So keep that in mind. All right. Uh, evaluation. Let's talk about evaluation. Uh, so now we have a weighted score. We have three categories, okay? Knowledge, application, and effort. Uh, knowledge is going to be worth 52% of your grade. Application is going to be worth 36% of your grade. And effort is going to be worth 12% of your grade, okay? Knowledge will be evaluated simply by exams. It's going to be exams um, totaled up. In this case, there's going to be uh, four exams because we are going to have that special exam for variable length sum that mess calculations um after lesson one so i'll make a change to this uh, after this video and say four exams all right so those four exams will be averaged together that is your knowledge score done and done and that's gonna be in class by the way the um the uh, um exam uh the, the vlsm exam uh application will be your um assessments average so i'm gonna take all your assessments average them up all your labs average them up 
There's going to be three projects. Those projects get directly thrown in. They don't get averaged up. They get directly thrown in. Gives them a little bit more power, although if anyone's a math genius, you'll it's not a whole lot more power. Um, anyway, uh, because the primary goal of this course is mastery of knowledge, uh, lesson assessment averages will be positively replaced by better exam average. So what does that mean? It means if you're if you don't do assessments, you get zeros on all the assessments, and you get whatever anything's higher than a zero. I don't do negative scores. So if you do if you score on the exams anything higher than a zero, that score will take place. Now that's a high risk maneuver. Assessments will help you out on the test. I'm telling you right now. Um, but so let's say you kind of blow through the assessments. You just go through them quickly, and you only get 70s on them. So your average is like a 72, right? Uh, but you you do really well in the exams. Uh, the exams will come out to let's say a, a 90. Uh, so that 90 would then take over that la uh, the excuse me the assessment average. Your labs are still are will not be taken over. Your labs need to get done. So do your labs, do your projects, do, make sure you do your exams. So do your exams first and foremost. Do your projects second. Labs are third most important. And assessments they don't have to be important. Okay. Another thing is effort will be evaluated by the professor looking at participation, looking at your attendance, looking at your um, you know, let's do some positive things, working with other classmates, helping other classmates, showing mastery of knowledge during class by discussing, bringing up good points. All that's po for positive points, okay? Uh, another thing is the effort score will also um, be compared to the knowledge score. So what your, I'll, I'll give you a raw effort score as it's called, and that raw effort score gets evaluated, or gets compared to the knowledge score. If the knowledge score is higher, then the knowledge score will take over for the effort score. So when it's all said and done, your knowledge score is probably gonna be somewhere in the 66%, two thirds of your grade if, if you rely on it, okay? If you don't rely on it, you don't test well, um, that's fine. You still have your application effort score to help bring you up. All right. I'm trying to make this a 25 minute video. So again, we talked about the um, important dates. Uh, here is the schedule. So again, this is very loose in it's subject to change, but hopefully that we'll, we'll stay close to it. We have a campus calendar. Also in here are campus day events, like for a case in point right here, stick veterans day, no classes, 11, 11. Okay. So I do have some stick things in here. The last day you can add uh, last day to withdraw that's in here, just FYI, but also I have the stuff for the course. All right. Uh, the links to the specific syllabus are here. Uh, we talked about grading, uh, course information. Again, the overall layout, every time we click on any lesson, there's going to be a prepare, right? And that prepare is going to have reading. Uh, it also has some study guides too. If you go down here to study, uh, you have flashcards, that kind of good thing, right? Good, hey, fun thing about using a book. Uh, might as well use them. Uh, so I haven't done questions to think about for this yet. I should do that. Um, I'm sure it's on my to-do list. Uh, so we do prepare. Uh, and then also my lecture is also listed in there. Uh, my slides using uh, used during the presentation. So that'll be there. Um, and then the labs are under execute and the assessments are under assess. Projects will be here. Uh, there's nothing there right now because I'm still working on them and um, they're hidden. Uh, and exams will be listed here. Okay. Again, online timed auto submitted test. Okay. You only get one attempt. By the way, you get two attempts on the assessments. Okay. Lesson assessments, you get two attempts. Okay. Um, as it says right here, two attempts to take. All right. Um, so I think I covered most things. I'm going through the checklist right now. Uh, so uh, welcome to the course. I hope you have fun. I hope you learned something. Uh, may you survive my terrible hero, uh, um, humor, uh, in this case, arrowed reference to strong bad, which is old too. Uh, but anyway, so bad humor. Um, all right. So, uh, I hope you have fun. I hope you, more importantly, I hope you learn. And, um, if you have any questions, let me know. You, you, you have my email. All right. Very good. I'll talk to you later. Bye.